Hey guys, it's Melissa Morrow with Vintage Bee Design, and this is going to be a real quick video. We have been in the middle of staging three Airbnbs, one of which is right around 1.3 million. So I've had to take some time away from this stuff. I hope you enjoy the flips. So we're going to start off with this cute little clock I picked up for $3.50 when we were thrifting. I'm painting this with DIY's skeleton key, giving it two nice coats, letting it dry fully in between, and then adding some white wax on top. And I love how it came out so much that I think I'm actually gonna save it for staging. You can see some discoloration and that is really because it is still drawing. It's not 100% dry at this point. So I found the next piece at a thrift store locally and this was actually during a live thrift haul where I took you to see what I was buying and universally everyone said no do not get them do not get them and well I decided not to listen to you I'm gonna start off giving these the ginger chick rehab treatment spraying painting them black first completely then I'm gonna give it a clear matte coat and then I'm gonna paint it over again with white spray paint. And basically this is so that when you distress back that you have the black to distress to and not the gold underneath. In the end, I kind of got to the, to the point where they were done, but I didn't quite love them. And as you can see, they really could have used another coat of white anyway, but I wasn't feeling it. So I decided to break out my DIY paint, Hey Sailor, and give these a little more pop. The blue and white nautical has been super popular. And just as with the clock, I may end up keeping these for staging. I haven't decided yet. I really love how they came out. And I didn't fully paint the leaves either. And you can still see a little bit of the dark in there. So I didn't have to add any dark and decrepit or anything. Um, here I am just adding some white wax over it to pull out all the detail. I really liked the texture of the concrete under the ceramic and I do like how it came out with the white wax but I was feeling at the end still it wasn't quite done. So I am adding some white decrepit dust and working it in. I'm going to go ahead and let this go so that you can see that this is really a matter of process and getting it how you like it. There's no right and wrong way. It really is just what appeals to you. I don't feel this way but it's not that easy you're complicating things for me no it's not that easy maybe just a little time can heal me but it doesn't feel the way what are you doing to me why'd you break my heart Here's the finished look. Tell me what you think. Again, I think they came out fantastic. I love the blue and white. Hey Sailor with a white wax over it is such a beautiful nautical look. So did I make the right decision in buying them or should I have let them go? While I was painting the candlesticks, I broke out this silver tray that I've had in my stash for well over a year and gave it a nice coat of Rust-Oleum two times and in just the basic white. And now I'm going over it with Dixie Belle's Vintage Duck Egg. I really only used one coat of paint across the whole piece and then anywhere that showed a little streaky, then I added a second coat. Afterwards, I went in with a wet cloth and gave it a nice full wet distress look. I'm really pleased with how this came out. That said, I was looking for a little more decoration in the middle of the tray. So if you have been paying at any attention at all, you have probably noticed that I love me some transfers. So I whipped out some Dixie Belle transfers. Now while this vintage floral pack has a lot of beautiful individual flowers, I opted for a simple black and white. There was a whole sheet of really pretty black and white transfers. So that was what I went for. I would love to know what you think. Do you like the flower choice that I made or would you have preferred to see some more colorful florals 
on this tray. For me, the simple black and white was perfect with the look that I wanted. I'm working on cleaning out my stash of thrift flips. So this is another piece that I've had since Galveston and I am going to give it a little makeover. These horses were on that same thrift flip as well. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of actually painting them white because we painted them in Galveston live, I believe. Now that it came time to actually finish them, I decided I wasn't really feeling the white, so I decided to go with DIY Paint's Skeleton Key. You know, it's interesting, but I've never noticed how similar the colors are between the Vintage Duck Egg by Dixie Bell and the Skeleton Key by DIY. I've always thought about DIY Paint's Skeleton Key being more of a gray and Vintage Duck Egg being a little more of a bit of blue, as you can tell in this direct comparison, they're actually very, very similar. And so much like I did with the clock face, I am going to give these horse heads a coat of white wax and then I'm gonna wipe it back. Now, once you added the white wax, you could see that the colors between the vintage duck egg and the skeleton key were a little bit more different. The skeleton key is definitely more of a gray, but still, I was shocked at how similar they actually were to one another. So let's take a look back at the initial project, how it started and how it ended. I'm curious to hear what you think about this piece all in white and the other piece in the blue with the white wax. Well, I guess technically it's gray, but it's kind of a blue gray. I love that it's like a French gray. Anyway, that's beside the point. I love how the weight really shows all the detail on these horse heads. So that time went by so fast. I hope you loved the projects. I do want you to check out creativecon.live. I will post the links in the description below. Unfortunately, I just haven't had time to talk about it and I've been sitting on this video for almost two weeks. I will address it in the next video, but it is an amazing creative conference for those of you who are in the business of being creative. I hope you check it out, creativecon.live, and I'll see you again soon.